This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a big show. It's just a big show. Big show. Big show. This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a big show. It's just a big show. Big show. Big show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you, and I hate doing vlogs. It's really not my thing. Um, I wouldn't call this so much a vlog, though, as more of just a quick update, letting you know what's been going on the past couple days, because, well, you're probably all wondering where Coil Wars is, right? Yeah, I know, we're all excited for Coil Wars. I can't wait to get the next episode out to you guys. Coil Wars is running a little bit behind this week due to weather. Hurricane Matthew came bowling through. I don't know, some of you guys might know, some of you might not. I actually live in Charleston, South Carolina. It made landfall right in front of us when it made landfall. Bad enough that it toppled over the fence behind our house. Uh, it was threatening to topple down the fence in our side yard. I had to run out with you know, I might drill and a hammer and nail and get the fence down in there right after the winds died down before they picked up again. It was a little bit scary. Uh, we lost power for a good 36 plus hours, so that was no fun. But other than that, it, we were we were pretty much fine. Nothing too crazy happened. We lost all the food in the fridge. That sucked, but so did everyone else, really. It happens. While all that was going on, I was throwing a build together and I posted some pictures over to Instagram and Facebook with, you know, updates about what was going on, about Coil Wars being delayed, about, you know, the hurricane coming through and all that. So if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you're already aware of all this. But some people have been asking me what's going on with Coil Wars. So I wanted to let you guys know so you didn't worry. I'll probably be out this weekend. Theoretically, I could probably get it out in the next couple days. But I mean, by the next couple days, it'll be the weekend anyway. So I think what we're going to do is just push the whole competition back, you know, forward, back, forward, whatever, one week. So basically, we skip, we missed last week. It sucks. We were going good and strong for a bunch of episodes week after week. And then basically, we had some technical difficulties last week. It was not just the storm, it was other things going on too. My phone has been basically fried. Like when they ran diagnostics on the phone, they saw that in a single day it had 800 charge cycles. Yeah, because there's something wrong with the charging port. There's something going on with my phone, so I had to get that replaced. To yesterday, my phone just died again. So different phone, completely different problem too. Basically went into a boot loop and I restored it through the recovery mode and it still kept booting back into the recovery mode. It was a big old mess, so I'm without a phone until tomorrow, probably. Won't boot past the friggin' logo. It's a big old mess. I, I tried using Odin and everything. Like, back in the day, I used to be really big on jailbreaking and hacking phones and hacking Apple TVs and all that kind of stuff. I love doing that shit. I haven't done it in years, and I had to go remind myself how to use Odin so I could try and reflash the firmware onto my phone. That was a trip, man. I haven't done that in a long, long time. But no, even that wouldn't work with the phone. So I tried everything. Eh, it happens, it sucks, but you know, I'll get my replacement phone and I'll be fine. It is what it is. It, sh it was just a crazy week last week, and sadly, some of those troubles have followed me into this week. I'm not going to let that slow me down again this time, but the stress of the hurricane coming, the stress of my phone not working, trying to get those things, you know, get us prepared for the storm and get the phone back up and running, which just would not cooperate, which huge distractions basically, and then the storm itself bowling through. Eh, that's what happened with Coil Wars this week, and I apologize, it's all on me, my fault. The builders have been building right along, the judges have been getting their decisions over, everyone's on the ball except for me this week. So, I apologize to everyone. Coil Wars will be back up and running this weekend, okay? Okay, awesome. Um, I'll have a couple more reviews coming out this week as well. I got the Tokugawa review coming up, it's cool. Um, I've started filming on a few more reviews. Playing with the idea of doing like kind of a behind the scenes kind of series or video, maybe one, maybe more, depending on how you guys like it. People have, you know, asked me in the past, you know, what goes into making YouTube videos, particularly what goes into making uh, YouTube videos with green screen and 
you know, the work that goes into all that. So I thought it'd be fun to show a quick behind the scenes kind of video montage kind of thing. I might do that, I might not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you're interested in that. This would be a great place to tell you who won the Pharaoh giveaway, <laughs> wouldn't it? Well, I don't have the internet right now because we live off of our hotspots. I have unlimited data on my phone still. Yeah, I'm one of those people. It's like, need, need to hold on to it, you know? <laughs> because we actually live off of our hotspots. We, we're, we're cord cutters. We live off of, you know, Hulu and Netflix and Amazon video. And we actually power everything with our hotspots. Problem is, I don't have any internet right now because my phone's dead. So yeah, I'm without Wi-Fi right now, so I can't do the whole randomizer thing. Um, maybe I'll do it when I get to work, and I'll just put the winner's name right here somewhere. Or, you know what? We'll pretend I know who the winner is now. There we go. Drum roll, please. And the winner is... Yay! Congratulations! 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 So, there's all that. Um, congratulations, there you are. You won the Pharaoh giveaway. I'm sorry it took me so long to get that one out to you guys. I've just been really, really busy with everything. But I'm, I'll get it out to you guys, to the winner later this week. Um, if you get back to me right away with the email, I'll send, get down, what are you doing? <laughs> you get back in touch with me from the email I'm gonna send back to you. Thank you, thank you. I'll get it out to you, hopefully by Friday, okay? I'm sorry for the the weight there on that one. Uh, I've just been really, really, really busy. Um, and I've got some other, you wanna go down? All right, see you later. I've got some other giveaways that I need to get to uh, really, really soon. The next time I do one of these vlogs will kind of will probably be the Halloween vlog. Definitely want to do a Halloween vlog. Halloween's a big, big holiday around this household. We love Halloween. We don't really dress up or anything like that. It's, it's just, you know, it's kind of one of our special days. So I'll definitely be doing sort of a Halloween vlog at some point. I had a lot of fun doing the one last year. That was great. I get asked a lot about my favorite juice. Uh, my favorite juice is this one right here. It's Earl. It's by East Coast E-Liquids. They're the same people that make the Nephos line. I don't think that you can buy their juice online anywhere. That's the thing. That's why I've never really done like a whole big review on this juice because you can't buy it. You can't find it anywhere. And you have to buy it in a brick and mortar. But let this serve as a review. I mean, it is, it's an Earl Grey tea. And that's exactly what it tastes like. It's spicy and it's sweet and it's thick and it's just an awesome, awesome babe. I love Earl. I like it a lot more in a three milligram nick than a six milligram nick. The six milligram nick, I feel the nick, I taste the nick. The three milligram nick, I don't get any nicotine taste at all from it. It's great stuff. One brick and mortar shop here used to carry it, but doesn't anymore. I think another one might have it, but I haven't been to that brick and mortar in a while, so I don't know if they still do. I get it is usually at a convention. The uh, most recent one was Vape Mania Vape Slam. One or the other, I don't remember. But it was the one in Charlotte that I went to a couple weeks ago. And I walked in, and right to the right was East Coast E-Liquids, Nephos is what they had on the sign, but I know what Nephos is, I know what that means, so I made a beeline right over to Nephos and got two of these guys, 60 mil bottles. I walked up and I said, what is the largest size of Earl that you guys have? And he said 60, and I said, I will take two of them, sir. So I took two, I'm already through one, I've got about half of the second one left, and when it's gone, I don't know when I'm gonna have more of it, so. I love this juice. It's pretty much the best juice in the fucking world as far as I'm concerned. I can vape it any day, any time. I can't have enough of it, but I don't know why I didn't buy more bottles, honestly, I really don't. 120 mils is not enough. I think it's because for the convention price, it was still a little pricey. It was like $20 convention price. Eh, 
For a 60 mil at a convention, I can get most bottles for 15, you know? And it was early in the convention too. It was like the first thing I bought. I walked in, literally walked in straight to the Defo Spook, got and bought my juice. And then, you know, I didn't go back for more and I should have. Sucks. So guys, thanks for joining me today really quick with this vlog update thing. I don't really know. I don't really do a whole lot of them, but uh, like I said, we'll be having another one uh, for Halloween. I had a lot of fun doing the last Halloween one. We'll definitely do that again. Got to tell you guys about my favorite juice. Got to tell you guys about my phone debacle, the hurricane, Coil Wars coming back next week, what we have coming up on the channel in terms of reviews and you know the new series I'm thinking of. Maybe, maybe not doing, we'll see. So if I'm hard to contact the next couple of days without a phone, eh, you know why. I still have my computer and I use my computer to correspond with people, but I'm not as active on it. And all the Instagram DMs, I don't get any Instagram DMs on a computer. There's no way to get them. I can only get Instagram DMs on my phone. So if you're waiting for a response from me on there. Uh, you're gonna be waiting a couple days. Guys in the Coil Wars competition, uh, I'm sorry, I'm out of touch. I will get back and check in with you guys as quick as I can. Uh, there's five of you guys left. I can't wait to see what you guys bring to the next challenge that you guys are working on already. You're awesome. We've only got like three challenges left, guys. That's it. Three challenges left until we have the Coil Wars champion. So. It's getting down to the nitty gritty here. I'm stoked. Anyway, until next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on, vapors.